Hello children, this is Oshini from Chinda.com. In this video, we will learn about some math, Olympiad, Algebra. If you are preparing for IOQM or American Math Competition or Singapore Math Olympiad or so on, this type of problem will be very useful for you. We will learn about how to understand thirds. Thirds means stuff containing square roots. In particular, we will use this problem from Singapore Math Olympiad, which says that square root of 7 plus square root of 5 raised to the power 4. We want to find out the largest integer that is smaller than this number. So, for example, if, I, if we have a number like 3.6, the largest integer smaller than this number is 3. It's usually denoted by square brackets largest integers smaller than this particular number okay so it looks a little bit complicated but i'll tell you a general strategy to attack these sort of problems and i'll also give you a challenge problem in this particular video if you can solve it put in the comment section Square root of 7 plus square root of 5 raised to the power 4. Whenever you see something like this, here is a general strategy. A general strategy. What you do is you add or subtract or multiply by the conjugate of it. Conjugate means if you have square root of A plus square root of B, then the conjugate of it is square root of A minus square root of B. The general inclination should be to multiply, but that will not work in this particular problem. But if I do that, if I multiply it, you see what happens. The third actually goes away. It's just A minus B. Because we are using the formula x plus y times x minus y is equal to x square minus y square. The third is gone and it is easier to simplify. In this particular case, we will not multiply, we will in fact add and we will analyze this thing carefully. It's a lot of fun. Let's see how it works. So square root of five, 7 plus square root of 5 raised to the power 4, I want the largest integer that is smaller than it. The largest integer that is smaller than this number. So maybe this number is some integer ta point, some, let's say, some decimal, something fractional, right? And I want to find out this i. So what I'll do is, I will add square root of 7 minus square root of 5 raised to the power 4. Okay? Now, when I do it, I'm actually noticing something. I'm noticing that square root of 7 is between 2 and 3. Right? Because, okay, let me write it like this. 4 is between, it's smaller than 7 is smaller than 9. So, square root of 4 is smaller than square root of 7 is smaller than square root of 9. So, 2 is less than root 7 is less than 3. Similarly, you can check 2 is less than root 5 is less than 3. So, root 7 and root 5, root 7 and root 5 are both between 2 and 3. And of course, root 7 is larger than root 5. So, you can easily now conclude that root 7 minus root 5 is less than 1. Root 7 minus root 5 is a number. It is less than 1. See how the analysis is going. I'm not doing any large computation. I'm just analyzing what it is. Okay. So, root 7 is obviously larger than root 5. Both are between 2 and 3. So, root 7 minus root 5 has to be less than 1. Or root 7 times minus root 5 raised to the power 4 is also less than 1. If you raise some number smaller than 1 to some power, it will also be smaller than 1. Okay, 
So what we noticed is that this quantity that we just added is actually smaller than 1. So root 7 plus root 5 raised to the power 4 plus something smaller than 1 Let's calculate what this is. Okay. If it is an integer, see the logic is like this. If it is an integer, let's say some integer j. And we will see it is actually an integer. If it is an integer j, then the largest integer smaller than this should be j minus 1. Because after all, this is i dot abc plus some fractional stuff, right? That gives you an integer. So I must be the number that is immediately built before root 7 plus root 5 raised to the power 4 must be j in minus 1. You see the trick? This is very interesting how it works. Okay, so let's see whether this is indeed an integer. So let me write that down carefully. Root 7 plus root 5 raised to the power 4 plus root 7 minus root 5 raised to the power 4. Is this an integer? Well, it is. You can check. This is 4 choose 0. Let me write down the first one again. Okay? 4 choose 0 root 7 to the power 4 root 5 to the power 0. 4 choose 1 root 7 to the power 3, root 5 to the power 1, 4 choose 2, root 7 square, root 5 square, 4 choose 3, root 7 cube, root 5 raised to the power 1, and 4 choose 4, 4 choose 4, root, five, root 7 raised to the power Oh, I made a mistake here. This is 1 and 3. And then this is 0 and 4. Root 5 raised to the power 4. Plus, let's take this entire thing and put... So, whatever the odd powers of square root of 5 are. Okay, so let me just take this thing. I based it here. So the odd powers of root 5, because root 5 is like negative root 5 here, right? This is, you can think of this root 5 as plus minus root 5. So it's also a plus b all, all raised to the power 4. So whenever the power of negative root 5 is odd, it will be a negative number. So, this one is negative, this one is negative, and the rest are positive because this is a square, this is a zeroth power, this is a fourth power, right? Okay, so these two cancels off, these two cancels off, so we are only left out with these elements. So, what is what are these? What are these three elements? So, 4 choose 0 is, so let me write this down. This is 1 times 7 square. Root 7 all to the power 4 is 7 square. This is 4 times 3 divided by 2 times 1 times 7 times 5. And this is 1 times 5 square. That's all. So 7 square is 49. 5 square, this is... 25 and this one is so 2 2 cancels so this one is simply 210 so 49 210 and 25 and we have twice of that right we have two pieces of that so 49 210 and 25 we have twice of that this thing is equal to root 7 plus root 5 
raised to the power 4 plus root 7 minus root 5 raised to the power 4. Now comes the challenge question. Can you, with this information and all the discussion that we have had, can you tell me the exact value of the integer part or the greatest integer smaller than root 7 plus root 5 raised to the power 4? You just have to add something and you have to subtract something. If you've watched the entire video, it should be very clear to you right now what to do. So if you know the final answer, put it in the comment section. Also, if you click on the link in the description, you will find a little quiz associated with this question. Please try that quiz. Thank you for joining us today. If you like mathematical sciences, you can check chitta.com. We have outstanding programs in Math Olympiad, Physics Olympiad, Informatics Olympiad, research programs and so on. I think you will like it. Alright, thank you guys. I'll see you in the next one. 